Bhag. After an astonishing win in the last one day international, the Indian team surely will be buoyant and very striking. Uh, here comes the first boundary for India. A risky shot by Sehwag. And even Ricardo Powell couldn't stop that. The cheerleaders are loving it here in Baroda. Risky and risky in the air and simply just fizzed off that big bat. Incredible stuff. You see, there's an angle. Get in there about, well, middle and leg stump. Sawag's going to make you disappear. No point trying to catch that, Pedro Collins. That is fair raced away. And the second one. And it's also a no ball. Early problems for Pedro Collins. Well, he's just fallen into the trap there. He got two straight on leg stump. Left arm round the wicket, Pedro Collins. And now he's gone right the other way. From the sublime to the ridiculous. Too wide, too short. And that is just meat and drink for Sawag. Loves it there in that zone. Just two shots for sure. It was humming. There he goes again. And this is uh, bread and butter for Sewa. We've got to say that, in fact, for any Indian batsman. Very much so. Again, just struggling in at about middle stump. You see, even on middle stump, you're going to go. And Collins gets the ball to swing back a little bit. And you see anything in there, no protection inside 14 overs. And it's just the length. It's a lovely little pickup length. I might start thinking about coming back round the wicket next over. Again, driven straight. Much better shot. He's gone after it. Enough bat on it to get over the boundary and clear it comfortably. That's why it's a gamble. First six of the game. It's just dragged that down very, very short. And though it was outside the off them by some way, he's got so much time to play that shot, Sewag. Good eye. Yep, going, going, gone. That's well played. That's clever cricket. Ten of two balls for Sewag. Uh, this is like the lamb to the slaughter here for Wavell Hines. He just doesn't have that control to be bowling at this stage. Not to batsmen of this class and quality. Sewag knows where the gaps are. Deliberately taking that off something where middle snub. Sewag was clever to use the pace of the bowler. This time he's gone on the other side of that man. The result the same. This is a big over for India. This is the man they've come to see, and if you're looking at home, young budding cricketers, this young man, Sewag, has a very good sense of where the gaps are in the field. He doesn't just hit, he hits them into the speed. And he's looking for the gap, and he goes for the big one again. One bounce, and over the boundary. Well, he's in the mood where he wants to take this attack to the cleaners. 70 for no loss India. And that's another one of those shots where he knows that the there's a mid-off. He's looking to hit the ball deliberately over it. You couldn't say it was an outright. That struck straight back. 50 for Sevard. His eighth in one-day internationals, and it's come off just 37 balls. Another make you pay the price for it. He's gone here, looking to clear mid on, not quite getting the elevation. And a breezy innings from Seva comes to an end. The West Indies get their first wicket. Yeah, rightly disgusted with himself, but credit to Collymore. He kept his length very full. He was consistently up there, and Chandapal took a good catch. He's gone for 52, 88 for one.